got to turn that belt over to Kenny Wayne. No doubt about it. Kenny Wayne definitely did win the match. He didn't receive the belt, but he will get it soon. And the feud's getting hotter and hotter with Ricky Gibson, everybody here. Let's go to the ring, and there you see the Coastal Connection. Absolutely pandemonium here in the TV arena. The girls just love these guys. Big crowd turn out to see the Coastal Connection. But tonight, uh, let me tell you, what a, what a night. What a match to start this night off. The Wild Samoans against the Coastal Connection. Once again, the promoters of World Organization Wrestling, a main event on television, a great match, would pack out any arena, and you're gonna see it right here tonight. What great action. Well, a good example of that is the people that we turned away from here tonight, just coming in to see the television production. We had to turn away literally hundreds of people. A good four or 500 it, people. At least, and of course, the arenas around the country, if you are coming out to see the wrestlers in action, be sure and get there early. We don't want to turn you away. Whether it be Pascagoula, Mississippi, Evergreen, Alabama, Op, Alabama, we're coming to your town, Sneeds, Florida. Get out early, get your good ringside seat to see the best in professional wrestling here in the Southeast. And what a match this is gonna be. The Wild Samoans against the popular Coastal Connection right here on TV today. I'm excited about this one, Gino. I really am. It's gonna be a great match. We know that. I think both of these teams really are going into this one with their, with their eyes open. They know a win here over either of these combinations is gonna catapult them high in that tag team title category. Absolutely, and I know that both teams in there right now are not wanting to lay back. They are in there to win without a doubt. They are there to get a pin. Whoa, did you see that? Dropkick just about took David Baxter's head up. Oh, and a slam. Samu is out, he's gunning. He's gunning for this win real quick and another powerful dropkick. Baxter goes in the corner. Whoa, but Baxter's a fighter and there he goes. Samu reverses the whip. Hey, what's this? Beautiful. Hey, Baxter comes off the top rope with the drop kick, and that backs up the big Samoan. Whoa. This Baxter's a fighter from get. You can't take anything away from the Coastal Connection. They are determined wrestlers. They're out there to win, and win they're trying to do. And the people love these guys. And you see a tag match on television. Look at the fabulous tag teams here in World Organization Wrestling. Bob Holly and Marcel Pringle, great team. That, that lunatic, Don Fargo and Mike Diamond, powerful team. Mr. Olympia and Bob Sweetan, gotta be rated one of the tops in the country. And the teams that are in the ring right now, you can't, you, this is the main event anywhere. I don't care where you go, these guys are in there. They're digging 100% and they're giving 100% all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, you come out to them live arenas to see World Organization Wrestling. You're gonna see just that world great wrestlers. David Baxter, oh, and he stops on Samu's toes, and up for a body slam. David Baxter just slammed 300 pounds Samu, and Samu's gonna think this one over. You cannot take this coastal connection lightly. They're fighting with heart, desire. They have fans all over the country behind them. And with that little bit of extra leverage, they're behind it. They got the fire and the desire. These two young athletes are great. David Baxter is really an incredible, incredible wrestler. Mr. Love, I'll tell you what, there's a lot of wrestlers that knock the close connection because of their size. Don't let the size fool you. This boy in the ring right now, he's been in the rest, wrestling in his family for many years. He knows wrestling. He gets in there and he's digging 110%. Whoa, and Jeff tosses that big Samoan, and again! And again, you're not kidding, this David Baxter knows wrestling, and he's proving it right here. Samu really is thinking about this one now. He's going into the co corner with Coquina. Coquina trying to tell the referee that, that David Baxter's pulling hair, and, and obviously he's not. These boys don't have to resort to that. They have impressive wins all over the country. They don't need to be pulling hair. Oh, now that big monster's in Coquina. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've never seen these wild Samoans in person, if you get a chance to, come on out to the arena because there's something to see in person. Awesome. 
awesome combination. Bisco Keen is probably one of the biggest wrestlers I've ever seen in the ring, and I've been in the wrestling business a long time. But to watch him move, he's agile. He moves fast. He knows his wrestling. This is going to be a great match, I know, without a doubt. What a fierce competitor. This Kokina, he's just so huge. He is so huge. Hey, wrestling fans, don't forget, Saturday night, October 10th, Evergreen, Alabama, at the Evergreen High School Gymnasium. A big card coming there. And Friday night, October 9th, in Daleville, Alabama, at the Community Building. Big nights of professional wrestling. Don't forget, Sunday night, Pensacola Municipal Auditorium. Coquina goes for the cover, pulls young Chuck Wilson up by the hair. Oh, what a vicious chop. These fans are up. I tell you, tag to Samu. The fans sense it in the air. Excitement is happening. Referee trying to get Coquina out of the ring. Oh, a powerful headbutt by Samu on Chuck Wilson. Samu goes over to the other corner. Baxter comes in, but why this is going on, Coquina just hangs Chuck Wilson over the top rope. There you go again. They're over here getting ready to double. Wow! What a vicious headbutt by Samu. This Samu is just, has to be one of the greatest athletes to ever come out of Samoa. And I know we say that a lot about great athletes, but, but in this circumstance, it is so true. He is just an incredible professional wrestler. There's one man you can brag on all you want. He is something else. As big as he is, his height that he's got, the weight that he has, he carries himself well. And as good as he is, he's just that, that mean. He's that much mean. And he's just, just a, a nasty individual. Every move he makes is devastating. Every move. Coke, oh, a double chop into the ring. Double punches. They got Chuck Wilson here over here in the corner, punching away at this young member of the Coastal Connection. And the fans are are trying to get the referee's attention back over into the corner. Of course, the Samoans are smart. By the time the referee's turned around, oh, and he throws Wilson out onto the floor. This Coquina, it just, he amazes me every time I see him week in, week out. He's just, wild, wild Samoans is not a good enough word for me. I just, they're, they're just so powerful. I'm not sure anyone can stop him. You know what I'd like to see? It's Mr. Olympian Bob Sweetan again. What a match that'd be. Oh, what a match that'd be. Can't take it away from the powerhouse for sure. Chuck will Chuck will make his way back into the ring. Guys over the top rope. He's got him. They didn't bring him down as a question. Can beautiful. Get him down? Beautiful he monkey flip. Beautiful monkey flip. But it's just too much when 400 pounds. Oh, but these kids are fighting. They're down, but they're far from out. Oh, and another headbutt. Now, see, most professional wrestlers, I've seen these Samoans beat people with these headbutts. But Wilson's on his feet. This coastal connection, they're still... Oh, no. Oh! Double massive elbow off the rope. Vicious stomp. Another one. Chuck Wilson's trying to get to the corner. Trying to get to the corner to, to tag David Baxter. Whoa. Samu kind of slowing down now, just taking his time. I suppose in his mind he thinks he's playing with the young member of the Coastal Connection, rakes his eyes. The fans getting behind him saying, go Chuck, go. They love this Coastal Connection, and rightly so. And he missed, and a tag. A tag to David Baxter, and Baxter's in. And he's all over Samu. And now Coquina comes in, a big him. And again, now Wilson's back on Samu. Baxter putting powerful shoulders into Coquina. Hit him and hit him again. Well, look at these young kids go. Oh, and miss with a drop kick. Just missed by inches, Gino. Samu throws Chuck Wilson out of the ring. Going back into the ring now. Samu's got David Baxter up, sitting on that top rope. Samu climbs to the second rope. Gets it back. Oh, what a backdrop. What a backdrop. Oh, them kids were doing so great. Boy, oh, they had, ah! And a headbutt by Huge Coquina. One, two, three. One, two, three. The Samoans, the winners in this match, 
But them Coastals, boy, them kids were fighting. Them kids were fighting. Coquina throws young Baxter outside the ring. The bell is sounded, but Coquina's, Coquina's, he's tying one of the, the bandanas around David Baxter's foot to the ring rope. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you can see it at home, but I can see it. Well, they got him tied to the to the bottom rope. They have young young Chuck Wilson tied to the bottom rope with the bandana. There goes David Baxter again. They got this kid tied to the bottom rope. And they're just mauling. They're annihilating him. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's Kenny Wayne there. There's what? Kenny Wayne's out here at ringside, and they say see him out here, and the Samoans finally back off. Kenny Wayne's down here at ringside, trying to get some aid here to the to young Chuck Wilson. Well, these Samoans had him tied up, and if it wasn't for Kenny Wayne coming out here, I'm not so sure if this wouldn't have ended the career of young Chuck Wilson. Well, Chris, you know, I want to tell everybody a couple of things. I've been trying to help these guys as best I can. And you know, in my opinion, and I think these people's opinion, these guys can beat those Samoans. <laughs> now, you know, there's no big disgrace in losing a match. Everybody can lose. We all know that. It only takes three seconds, a one, two, three. And these guys got all kinds of heart and all kinds of fight. But what I want to stand out here and tell everybody, did you see what's on these guys' legs? The bandanas and all the... The bandanas and the, the hoopla, the many colors, the belts, the well, loop. Let me explain this to everybody. I've been trying to get them to take that stuff off their, out, of, out of their repertoire, their gear, whatever you want to call it, for one simple reason. They said it's all flashy. Well, flash don't win you matches, guys. But those things around your legs, just like you got your career ended, because you couldn't get away from them, they tied you up with your own stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to change these boys up and we're going to take them to an accelerated program, take that off their legs, and I guarantee you next time these boys wrestle with Samoans, it'll be a completely different story. Well, let me tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, Kenny Wayne, the mentor of the Coastal Connection, come out, and he says they're going to change the style of the Coastal. Should be exciting. We'll be right back after this word. World Organizational Wrestling is on the road. October 19th at Foley High School Gym. October 17th in Pascagoula at the National Guard Armory. October 13th in Monroeville at the Monroe County Coliseum. October 12th in Op, Alabama at the Chanel Lee Stadium. October 10th in Evergreen at the Evergreen High School. October 4th in Pensacola at the Auditorium. And October 3rd in Biola Battery at the Community Center. Don't miss the World Organizational Wrestling in your area. America has plenty of rear-engine riding mowers, yet one is America's number one choice, Snapper. Number one because of superior performance. Number one because of low maintenance. Number one because more Americans buy Snapper than any other brand of rear-engine rider. Join the millions of satisfied users who have made Snapper America's number one choice. At Barnett's Lawn Equipment, we carry a complete line of Snapper equipment. See us at the corner of Nine and a Half Mile Road and Old Pile of Fox. Wait a minute. You're just pushing that harmful dust right into your electronic equipment. Now that's a man-sized machine. But how do you intend to clean that expensive light fixture? Introducing Minivac, the amazing miniature cleaning system designed to take on hundreds of chores no ordinary tools can handle. Minivac cleans away dust from camera lenses, computer keyboards, figurines, or stereo equipment. Minivac's powerful motor vacuums away dust and dirt. It comes with two wand attachments, two ultra-soft brush nozzles, and a reusable vacuum bag for dust collection and disposal. Keep one in the car for cleaning along the dash, steering column, stereo, ashtrays, and seats. Minivac is perfect for removing dust and debris from pictures, models, and those impossible-to-reach crevices. Minivac operates on a single 9-volt battery or AC adapter. In this special television offer, you get Minivac with straight and curved wands, two ultra-soft, durable brushes, reusable vacuum bag, plus a convenient storage case for only $19.95. Here's how to order. 
Credit card and COD customers call toll-free 1-800-453-7100. That's 1-800-453-7100. Or save COD fees by sending $19.95 plus $3 shipping and handling to Minivac, P.O. Box 3170-P, Ogden, Utah. Or call 1-800-453-7100. Ladies and gentlemen, in my 12 years in being in professional wrestling, I have never seen such a despicable act, Bob Holly, as I seen last week here, right here on television, hey, in a, a minute, TV I told studio. You, don't talk to this man. You got anything to say? You talk to me. This is championship material here, and he is a champion. You talk to me. You don't talk to him. We're going to show you people here in a little bit, a little tape of what happened to Mr. Gibson. Mr. Gibson. He thinks he's bad and tough. He goes back in the past, the feuds that I used to have when I used to kick them all around the arenas and beat them good. So I just proved to him that he's not the man that he thinks he used to be. I can handle him by myself, but why should I when I got champions like this next to me? So we're going to run this tape and show you what happens to him. Ladies and gentlemen, take a look at this tape. One of the most despicable acts I've ever seen, and then we'll come back again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Christopher Love, and I'm sitting here in the studio with wild man Don Fargo, and I'm reviewing this film of what happened in the television studio last week. One of the most despicable, sickening acts I've ever seen done in the, in the world of professional wrestling. And, and Mr. Fargo, you're here. I asked you to come in here. I want to know exactly why did this go on? Well, first of all, I don't realize what you see sickening about anything it's, it has to do with wrestling. First of all, Crazy Mike had this whole match underhand, completely underhand. Gibson's too confident of himself. He thinks he's really tough and bad. Mike could have beat him any time he wanted to. He's toying with the man. Okay, the match went back and forth. I'll give you that. Diamond is a tough competitor, as Ricky Gibson is one of the best. I don't understand, number one, why you have to be at ringside. Well, there you've seen hair pulling. You've seen it. You're sitting here. Did you not see that man pull his hair? I can't see that for to see that. That man did not pull that hair. That was a clever, smooth move for a headlock. Now, look at this. Now, there is cleverness. Mike knew exactly what he's doing. Look, he's taking over. He could have beat the man any time. Look how excited I am. Well, right there, you do have things going your way. But, ladies and gentlemen, what's to come? is why we're sitting here in this TV studio and going over this bit by bit, because I really want to know, and I know a lot of the fans want to know, what actually is going on in your mind? Why, number one, do you need to be there at ringside? Mike Diamond, if he's that great, you know, he's in there handling his own. Why are you even outside that ring? First of all, the simple reason is, is two minds are better than one. I can control him. He knows everything that I want him to do just by looking at me. And this is one way I want to get Gibson once and for all. I don't have to get him physically. I can get him through certain people that are my friends and then know how to handle it. Now, wait a minute there. Now, wait a minute. I seen you trip that man. All you fans at home seen that. What I was trying to do was I was trying to kind of pull the rope back a little bit. I didn't want him to hit it himself. I didn't trip nobody. You blatantly interfered, and Gibson fell real hard. But yet still, I see Mike Diamond did not pin Ricky Gibson. No, he didn't do that. He could have pinned him very easy there, but uh, look at this. Now, look at this. He's got the tights. You can see for yourself. You, you say, I pull the ropes. He pulled the tights. Now, if we want to have a conversation on that, we can. Now, what are you doing here? You're up on the apron. You have no business in the ring. You're waving. Oh, of course. Here's Bob Holly. Who else? There. Now, that, that made you look real good. What do you got to say about that? Well, Bob Holly attracted my attention there. I just didn't see what I was doing right off. And, uh, of course, that was uh, 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 a little thing that shouldn't have happened there. I don't think Holly should have been in my way or, or, or I, I don't know something happened was wrong that's all right okay now Gibson's going after you Diamond comes from behind famous for coming from behind and young Bob Holly who basically is one of the most impressive professional wrestlers I've seen in a long time you hand him their brass knucks everybody can see it and he hits Ricky Gibson and Gibson's down he's out of it okay I don't care Gibson deserves it everything he does he deserves Holly has no heart. I showed Harley heart. I showed him what to do. I told him hit him. Protect your belt. Protect your belt. This man's going to take your belt. Hit him. Beat him. Why? Beat For what him. reason? What is the problem? For the simple reason is to get him out before he takes Holly's belt. I have never seen, I saw Ricky Gibson after that match, I've never seen anyone beaten so bad. His eyes, ladies and gentlemen, were, were shut, swelled shut, black and blue, lacerations all over his face. Why did Bob Holly look at this mess? You left little Rick Gibson in a bloody mess. Now, we're going to go back to the studio. 
Okay, wrestling fans, I'm going to let you judge for yourself. There you've seen that mess that you left Ricky Gibson in. Are you proud of that, Bob oh, Holly? Bob, that you... uh, Bob Holly, I'm telling you that. Hey, listen, you guys caught me right. I can't say black and white. You caught me right in color. You caught it. You proved it right on the TV. I don't care because I've tried to tell you people a long time ago, the only way to win is to cheat or to gang up on somebody and beat their brains in. Okay, that's exactly what I did. It's right there. The proofs of the pudding's there. I can't lie. It's there. The man did it, and I'm proud the man did it. The man's got heart. He's got heart. Mike, crazy man. You seen what he did? He was in there. He's got the heart. But do you realize you could have ended the career of Ricky Gibson? <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do. Now you're sinking into your head. You're, I'm not going to let this man lose his belt. Gibson's good, I admit, but he's defeated and beaten right now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure we're going to hear a lot more out of this unorthodox trio in weeks to come. World Organizational Wrestling Action returns to the Pensacola Municipal Auditorium Sunday night, October 4th. A Texas Tornado match with Prince Samu and Kanika versus Mr. Olympia and Bob Sweetan. There'll be a grudge match. Bob Holly versus Ricky Gibson. Rip Tyler will be the referee. Gaddafi versus Kenny Wayne and a special tag team match. Marcel Pringle and Mike Diamond versus Chuck and Dave, the Coastal Connection. Also tonight at Bayou Battery at the Community Center, a $1,000 Battle Royal. Samu and Kanika versus Sweetan and Kenny Wayne. Plus other great matches. Don't miss WOW Action. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, Bayou Labatry at the Community Center, 8 o'clock, a $1,000 over-the-top rope battle royal. That's tonight in Bayou Labatry, Alabama. And tomorrow night, the big one, Ricky Gibson, Pensacola World Organization Wrestling Returns. And what a night of action tomorrow night, Pensacola. You finally have Bob Holly with the special referee, Rip Tyler. Let me say something, one thing right now. You know... It's not a very pretty sight. I hate to show it, but I have to get up every morning and I have to sit and look at myself in the mirror. If I go to shave, it hurts to shave. Fargo, you've done it, brother. But let me say one thing. You haven't got no cherry, Jack. I've been there before and I'm here now. Fargo, I just want you to stick your nose in that ring. For one thing, at least I've got a good chance. I've got the president of WOW refereeing the damn match. Now, let me say something, Fargo. You've got Bob Holly, you've got him trained now, you've got him under your wing. Well, I don't give a darn who you got, because one day it's going to come down to you and I. It might be tonight, or it might be tomorrow night, but you're going to have to put up with me. Sooner or later, Fargo, it's going to be you and I, and you're going to stick your nose in there, brother, and you think this looks bad? No, it don't look a damn bit bad, but not exactly what I'm going to do to you. You are going to have it, brother. It's going to come down. One day, you and I, we're going to get to it. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Rip's Corner. <laughs> Two guys with me today that uh, I don't need to introduce any of you to. All you wrestling fans out there, I know them. Bob Sweetan and Mr. Olympia. And uh, guys, you formed a tag team, and it and, and, uh, seems like the Samoans have gotten your hair real strong. Well, you know, regardless whether we're a team or we're in singles, I'm definitely going to be watching this man's back, and he's going to be watching mine. Now, I got a taste of what was going through this guy's mind and going through his body when the Samoan took it upon himself to start jumping me from behind. So I got a feel of what this man was going through. Then I needed a partner. Well, the man said he had somebody, and he definitely did. It's himself now. It's Bob Sweetan. You know, and the money, the bounty, the bounty's over. If the man wants to put some more money out on the line, hey, that's fine and dandy because I'm going to be right beside this man and I'm going to help get rid of the bounty as much as I can. Now, I know Bob's got a lot to say because there's a lot of things on his mind, you know, and you did say we were a team. We're going to be a team throughout the whole WOW area and we will be in singles. But like I said, I'll be watching his back and he'll be watching my back. Bob, I saw last week on TV you took the Mr. USA off and and cast it aside, and, and I know where you've been because I've been there, but uh, we've got Bob Sweetan back now, and we're glad to say that. Well, thank you, Rip. I appreciate that. I want the people to understand one thing. When I said I was going to retire, the reason for that there was a lot of things on my mind, a lot of pressure on my mind, $10,000 on my head, and I couldn't handle it. It, the, it was on me too much. It was just too much. I put the mask on. I stepped in that ring, and it wasn't Bob Sweetan. I didn't feel comfortable with it. I couldn't breathe with it. I don't know how... Mr. Olympia breathes with that mask, so I just took it and threw it away. 
and I don't care how many people put bounties on my head. I don't care if there's $100,000 on my head. No matter who puts the bounty on, this face is going to be in your camera for a long time. And get used to it, okay? Now, the Samoans, they came here in the first place for one reason, to collect that bounty. Well, gentlemen, you didn't get the bounty because Jerry Stubbs got the bounty. But you gentlemen are still in the area, you, Gaddafi. Now, Bob Hawley, he's in there with uh, Fargo. Who knows what's going to happen there? But Samoans, remember one thing. If somebody puts another bounty in my head or not, it doesn't make any difference. Mr. Olympia and myself, we're here in the WOW area for one thing, and that's the tag team titles. As a tag team, we haven't been defeated, and I don't see anybody defeating us. Samoans, you're big, you're tough, you're strong. You can do everything in that ring. You're a great tag team. But there's one thing that Mr. Olympia and I self have, and that is heart, and the biggest part of it all, we have all them people sitting out there every night, cheering us on, hollering for us, and that's what makes it go, Rick. You know yourself, you've been in that ring for many years. When the people are behind you, it gives you an extra little bit of boost. When you're beat down, you figure, well, I just can't get up anymore, I can't do it. Then people start hollering for you, and it makes an adrenal flow, and you get right in there, and you keep on trucking, you don't stop. So like I said before, no matter if anybody comes out with a bounty or not, I'm just going to bow my neck and I'm going to stay in there and I'm going to keep on pitching because that's where I made my livelihood for a long time in that ring and I'm not ready to step out yet. Okay, Bob. I'd like to say one more thing. You know, Jerry Stubbs, just like Bob, Bob Sweet Ten right here said, Jerry Stubbs is gone, he collected the bounty, but Mr. Olympia is here to stay just like Bob Sweet Ten. Now, Bob Holly, you're on the wrong side of the fence and I've been there and it can be a hard road to hold and I want a chance at that belt, too. So by gosh, I'm coming after it, too. So you better not hide your head and hide over there because I want a chance at the belt myself. Okay, I'd like to pass. Before we go, Rip, I'd like to make another statement. What Jerry just said, he wants a shot of that title. Well, I am here, too. And my waist ain't that big. That title will fit around there real nice. And Bob Holly, you keep looking over your shoulder. Right. Now, you took a big step. You took a great big bite. Now, I don't know if you're man enough to handle it. I don't think you are. Even though you got Fargo in your corner, this sport of professional wrestling is a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and it takes one heck of a man to be a champion, but it takes more of a man to keep that belt. The easy part's over now, Holly. Now the hard starf is going to start trying to keep that belt. And you're going to have a lot of people okay, after you. Okay, guys, we're about to run out of time, and I, I want to get this one point across to you wrestling fans. You just saw a tape, something that happened last week to Ricky Gibson. You just saw it again, what Don Fargo and them did to Ricky Gibson. Well, let me say something to you. We've had some fans ask about Ricky's condition. Ricky is not out jogging. He's not spiffy. But I know Ricky Gibson. A man's got guts as long as from here to New York and back. And I'm going to say this. Fargo, you can do whatever you want to. You can do whatever, however you want to. You and Holly and Diamond and all of you. Gibson's here to stay. And the boy just proved something to me when he walked out of the dressing room and told me, I want my matches. We'll see you next week. More WOW in just a few minutes. At the new and welcome back wrestling fans our next big match of the evening in the ring already Lynn Austin from Long Beach California and now entering the area now a popular young kid Greg Cooley stepping through the ropes right now should be a pretty interesting match I'd say Gino definitely should be a good match and did you hear them comments one Bob Sweetan made you know, he put a, 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 a lot of heart in that interview, but he had a lot of things to say, especially to Bob Hawley and the Samoans. Well, I think Bob Sweet then, it felt like he was a man without a country. There was no one from either side that would talk to him. None of them would associate with him. The bounty was on his head. The bounty is gone now. He does have a man beside him that promises to stay right beside him, watching his back all the time, and I think that's going to make a difference. And these fans are so happy that Bob Sweetan is back. The arena's buzzing. And they're even buzzing more about young Greg Cooley in the ring. And he's staying on top of the action there with Lynn Austin, a, a young newcomer out of Long Beach, California. Austin grabs a headlock. Cooley goes into the ropes, throws Austin off, comes back, shoulder smash. Cooley goes down into the ropes again, young Austin. Oh, what a kick by Cooley! A great kick by Greg Cooley. And you're going to be hearing a lot more about Greg Cooley here on World Organization Wrestling. That boot sure put him down on the mat fast, didn't it? Oh. Greg Cooley, a popular young wrestler everywhere we go on tour. And speaking of going on tour, you fans out in Sneeds, Florida, a big show coming up there. 
Evergreen, Alabama, Op, Alabama, Monroeville, Alabama. Big show on Tuesday night, October 13th. Don't forget that one. Boy, the fans really like this Greg Cooley. Flips young Austin over, down! Wrestling fans really like the wrestling on TV, but, but I'll tell you what, there's nothing like going out, sitting in the audience, and being a part of the wrestling. You sit out there, you can get to cheer who you want to cheer, boo who you want to boo, and really feel the excitement in the air at a wrestling arena. So when wrestling is out in the area, come out, participate, be in that audience, be with the wrestling. And let me tell you something, I've been back in, in the Pensacola area now for several weeks, and it honestly is the greatest area and have the greatest wrestling fans in the world right here in the southeast area of the United States, and I'll argue that point with anyone. The fans, the greatest fans, whether they be in Greenville, Mississippi, Pensacola, Florida, Op, Alabama, Birmingham, Alabama, I don't care, the greatest fans are down here. And of course, any time that wrestling is being taped in Pensacola, we'd like our people to come out and be in our audience here at the TV taping. Don't forget, there is free admission to the first few hundred fans who come to the Border Street Arena on Wednesday night, every other Wednesday night. That's a Border Street Arena here in Pensacola, Florida. If you want to attend the live TV taping, we turn hundreds away each week, so get here early. Doors open at 6 o'clock. Greg Cooley pretty much manhandling this Lynn Austin in the ring. Got an arm bar. This Cooley, he's just, he's really come a long way. I think right now, Greg Cooley is, is really maturing as a professional wrestler, and he's only, you know, he's going to the top. I really believe that. I've talked to him earlier. He believes it. I'll tell you what, Greg Cooley is in trouble right now, but I'm sure if he gets it all, his mind straightened out, he'll come out of it. There he goes. He's coming out. There it is. He's punching. He's rocking and a rolling, throws Austin into the ropes. Comes up. Wow, oh, that's a big, big, devastating move. And good enough for a pin, one, two, three. And your winner is Greg Cooley right here on World Organization Wrestling. And we'll be right back after this word. World Organizational Wrestling Action returns to the Pensacola Municipal Auditorium Sunday night, October 4th. A Texas Tornado match with Prince Samu and Kanika versus Mr. Olympia and Bob Sweetan. There'll be a grudge match. Bob Holly versus Ricky Gibson. Rip Tyler will be the referee. Gaddafi versus Kenny Wayne and a special tag team match. Marcel Pringle and Mike Diamond versus Chuck and Dave, the Coastal Connection. Also tonight at Viola Battery at the Community Center, a $1,000 Battle Royal, Samu and Kanika versus Sweetan and Kenny Wayne. Plus other great matches. Don't miss WOW Action. Tonight, Viola Battery, Alabama, ladies and gentlemen, the action starts at 8 o'clock at the Community Center. These two giants will be there. And ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow night, wrestling returns, Pensacola Municipal Auditorium with a super spectacular card at 8 o'clock. Samu Kokina will take on Bob Sweetan and Mr. Olympia Texas Tornado Rules. That's right. You know, Bob Sweetan, this time you're going in retirement and you ain't coming back. Make your reservation at an old folks home someplace because Kokina and I are going to retire you. And as far as you, Mr. Olympia, you're going down. You might as well take the mask off now because you ain't going to have the head to put it in when we're finished with you. And a big one tomorrow night, ladies and gentlemen. You heard Ricky Gibson earlier. Don Fargo, you're in for a night of trouble. Ricky Gibson gets his match with Bob Holly, and Rip Tyler will be the referee. Okay, big deal. I just want to say one thing. It's an old corny saying, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Gibson, you've cried 10 years ago when I made you look like that. You ain't nothing. You got to remember one thing. I had nothing to do with that. He had nothing to do with that. All I did was direct the man. You got your head beat in by a champion, and a champion he is. I don't care if Rip Tyler's in the ring as a referee. You still got a champion in there. You got me in the side, and you got crazy. And you ain't got a chance against us. Ladies and gentlemen, don't miss this one tomorrow night in Pensacola at the Municipal Auditorium, bell time, 8 p.m. Welcome back, wrestling fans. And in the ring now, once again, a main event anywhere in the country. You got to take your hat off for the promoters of World Organization Wrestling. I'll tell you, what great matches. And marvelous Marcel Pringle come to the ring wearing that TV title. And you know Gino, and I know, he's no more the TV champion than me or you are. That belt belongs to Kenny Wayne. I'll tell you what, he's just asking for trouble whenever he, he refuses to give that belt back to Kenny Wayne. 
Kenny Wayne is the WOW TV champion. No doubt about it. He knows it. Kenny Wayne knows it. We know it. The belt will get around his waist one way or another. And the match in the ring, Mr. Olympia. And Marcel Pringle's no dummy. He knows that a win over Mr. Olympia will put him right back in line for a title defense against the true TV champion, Kenny Wayne. Kenny Wayne's a man without a belt, but we know who the champion is. And Marcel's wearing that belt all over the area, all over the live shows, he's wearing them out. And the people are demanding. We've gotten literally thousands of cards and letters. Get that belt on the rightful owner. Well, he's shrewd, he's smart. He's been able to work around getting that belt belt back to Kenny Wayne, but I, I know Kenny Wayne. He's determined, too. He's determined to get that belt. Marcel really, in his sick mind, believes he's the champion. He really does. He wears that belt everywhere, and I notice he keeps a real strong hold on it, <laughs> you know. He keeps an eye on it. He knows where it is all the time. I, I guarantee you, he knows that Kenny Wayne isn't going to get that hands in the belt, even now, while it's not around his waist. And Kenny Wayne, I can't blame the man. He wants that belt. He, he won it fair and square. He deserves to be wearing that belt with pride. Now into the ring, Marcel Pringle, whoa, and Mr. Olympia, beautiful takedown. Working on the leg of Marcel Pringle, the former TV champion. If you'll notice, he's wrestling a lot harder tonight than he did whenever he lost the belt. He knows he's going to make a good show, and he has to be good in order to get another chance at that belt. Well, he knows a loss to Mr. Olympia on television will throw him so far down in the rankings, it'll take a long time to cover that territory. So Mr. Olympia knows also he can't afford to take no loss, and that's what's so great about World Organization Wrestling. Top talent, top caliber talent, and the top of the line professional wrestlers in your live shows and your television shows. And ladies and gentlemen, if you get a chance to come out and see it in person, do so. You're seeing the best in the southeastern part of the country has to offer, and we're drawing tremendous crowds all over. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, you want to write a letter to your favorite wrestler, I'll give you that address in just a few minutes. Grab a pencil and paper. I'll give you the address. If you want to write a letter to Mr. Sweetan or Mr. Olympia, Kenny Wayne, whoever, Marcel Pringle, whoever it may be, we enjoy getting your mail. Even the office enjoys getting the mail. So get, the address is 2230 North Border Street, Pensacola, Florida, 32505. And keep them cards and letters coming, please. Also, I'd like to make note next, next week right here, Exotic, Adrian Street will be here in the ring. And I'm real excited about that. Adrian's one of my favorites. And uh, a crowd pleaser. I've never seen a man who attracts more attention than the exotic one, Adrian Street and Miss Linda. And they'll be here next week right here on WOW Wrestling. Well, the folks are in for a treat. And I know that he was back uh, here on TV a few weeks ago. The people actually went out of their minds when I saw Adrian Street in the ring. He will be definitely be on the card I, next week. I have to say he's one of the most colorful performers in professional wrestling. And we're proud to have Adrian Street a part of the World Organization Wrestling family. And ladies and gentlemen, in the ring now, Marcel Pringle's working hard to get a pin on Mr. Olympia. Olympia has that hand underneath the chin of Pringle. Pringle, look at the, the look on his face. It's like, it's maniacal. I wonder if Fargo, is he putting something into this guy too? I don't know, I have no idea. You never know what Fargo has got in the back of his head. I know that Marcel Pringle is wrestling harder right now than he ever has. I also want to say hello to all the great fans in Pascagoula, Mississippi. What a great show it was last week. Boy, a lot of fans turned out at the National Guard Army, and we'll be back in your town real soon. So stay tuned for details on Pascagoula, Mississippi. The crowds are turning out to see wild wrestling, and rightfully so, because they're seeing the best in professional wrestling in the Southeast United States. The fans here chanting for Mr. Olympia. Marcel Pringle picks him up. Marvelous Marcel Pringle. Ah, kick. And another. Down with a big elbow. Two count. Mr. Olympia lifted his shoulder. What a great match this has been from the beginning. Well, with World Organization Wrestling, I guarantee you, wrestlers are going to go out there and you're going to see wrestling. It may not be a whole lot of fanfare, but they do get wrestling holes and they do wrestle hard.
You know, Gino, I'm sitting here. Can anyone stop these Samoans? I just, I, I'm in awe of what's happened just the past few weeks I've been here. They're steamrolling over everyone, trying to make a name for themselves, hurting people along the way. And, and boy, let me tell you something. They're just an awesome combination. And, I, and I'm wondering if it, you know, so I, I'm thinking Bob Sweetan and Olympia. I'd love to see that match, but uh, can anyone stop them Samoans? Time will tell. Time will tell on anything. Pringle gets Olympia into the ropes. Hits him again. Pringle going outside the ring, gonna snap that arm. Wow! Oh, I know Olympia's gotta be in some pain in that ring now. Snap that arm off that top rope. Pringle goes up to the second rope, down with the knee to the shoulder of Mr. Olympia. Doesn't go for a pin, now I don't know why he didn't go for a pin, but he's gonna work on that arm a little longer. Marvelous Marcel Pringle, formerly the wild television title holder, he got the belt. He stole the belt, but he's not the champion. Kenny Wayne is the TV champion. Marcel Pringo goes back into the ropes. Mr. Olympia turns him around, throws Pringo on the rope. Ah! And a clothesline right down to the mat. A powerful clothesline that brought Marcel Pringo flat on his back. And these people sent something in the air. Yes! Pringo going to the ropes. Olympia after him. Powerful right into the side jaw of Marcel Pringle. This has been a hard fought match, and, it, and you can't you can't determine which way it's gonna go. You just don't know. Oh, and a bail throw. What a great throw. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Marcel Pringle's reaching into his into his pockets. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know. They, she, he's shielding it from the referee. But he's got a chain around his hand. He's got a, he's got a chain. He's got a chain, a foreign object in the ring. There's a chain around his fist. Olympia went down. Now you see him with that chain. The referee is down. Olympia's down. Wait a minute. Ah! Oh, and he missed. Olympia picks him up with the big knee to the spine. And you know Pringles tingling from head to toe. Olympia's got the chain. Olympia has got the chain that Pringle had, and the referee's trying to take it away from Mr. Olympia. And he he calls for the bell. Pringle comes off with a clothesline. Referee calls for the bell. The referee calls for the bell, signaling the match is over. Pringle just wants to kick and kick it. Wait a minute. He gives the victory to Marvelous Marcel Pringle. The referee seen Mr. Olympia with the chain and has disqualified Mr. Olympia, awarding the match by disqualification to marvelous Marcel Pringle. And these fans, is, the fans are going crazy. Listen to this crowd. The roof's going off the building. Marvelous Marcel Pringle has been awarded the match by disqualification. And Mr. Olympia's in the ring, appealing to the referee, now wait a minute. Look, the crowd's on its feet. The crowd is on its feet, trying to tell the referee what happened, but he caught Olympia with the chain. Therefore, your winner is the former TV champion, Marvelous Marcel Pringo. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back after this word from World Organization Wrestling. World Organizational Wrestling is on the road. October 19th at Foley High School Gym. October 17th in Pascagoula at the National Guard Armory. October 13th in Monroeville at the Monroe County Coliseum. October 12th in Up, Alabama at the Chanel Leaf Stadium. October 10th in Evergreen at the Evergreen High School. October 4th in Pensacola at the Auditorium. And October 3rd in Biola Battery at the Community Center. Don't miss the World Organizational Wrestling in your area. The Mobile Area Chamber of Commerce recently announced an education package which is an action plan for the Mobile County Public Schools. This package is designed to assist the public schools in the area of planning, public relations, and grassroots support. This community will be no better than its schools. If we are to control our future, we've got to direct that future today. Please join us in supporting the Mobile County Public Schools. For the Chamber, I'm Ronnie Davis. Hi, I'm Dale Patterson, pastor of the East Flint Baptist Church, inviting you to join the Fellowship of Excitement 
as we discover together a new beginning with Christ each Sunday morning at 10 o'clock on WTMI TV. Attention, sight, insert, and struggle. Yes, you really can have a lot of fun using a screwdriver. Not counting scratching the surface, damaging the head of the screw, backache, armache, and a blister. This brand new British design dual driver, different from any other tool ever seen before, fits any drill, replaces screwdrivers, and combines all into one all-steel space-age unit. For the very first time, insert screws easily and accurately because we have a clutch. It handles any size screw, large or small. A four-inch screw can be driven home in 2.5 seconds. It will never damage the head of the screws. And here's the proof. Take a brass screw, which is very soft, drive it directly into hard wood. This you'd never attempt with a screwdriver. Just look at the clutch working. That's why you'll never damage the head of a screw. And that's why it's different from any other tool you've ever seen before. The secret is in the automatic clutch and torque control. The dual driver socket adapter, use it with any of your socket sets and wrenches to loosen or tighten nuts and bolts in a jiffy, even rusty ones in tight places. Working on the car, motorcycle, and any other appliance. We're so certain of its quality, we guarantee it for two years. Try it for 10 days, and if you're not absolutely satisfied, send it back and have your money refunded. Plus free for the first thousand callers, multi-tool, nationally advertised for $9.99. Cuts glass, tiles, carpets, sharpens knives, scissors, tools, even strips wire. This dual driver is not available anywhere else in the USA. Here's how to order. To order the dual driver, call 1-800-453-1907. That's 1-800-453-1907. Or send check or money order for $19.95 plus $3 shipping and handling to Dual Driver, P.O. Box 614, Mobile, Alabama. That's Dual Driver, P.O. Box 614, Mobile, Alabama. COD orders acceptable. Order now. Hi, I'm Holly Robinson, and I'm undercover as Hoss on 21 Jump Street. Believe me, it's a jungle out there, so stay home and watch the action Sunday right here on your Fox station. 21 Jump Street, Sundays at 6 on WPMI TV 15. World Organizational Wrestling Action returns to the Pensacola Municipal Auditorium Sunday night, October 4th. A Texas Tornado match with Prince Samuel and Kanika versus Mr. Olympia and Bob Sweetan. There'll be a grudge match. Bob Holly versus Ricky Gibson. Rip Tyler will be the referee. Gaddafi versus Kenny Wayne and a special tag team match. Marcel Pringle and Mike Diamond versus Chuck and Dave, the Coastal Connection. Also tonight at Viola Battery at the Community Center, a $1,000 Battle Royal. Samuel and Kanika versus Sweetan and Kenny Wayne. Plus other great matches. Don't miss WOW Action. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, that's tonight, Bayou La Battery, Alabama, a big card there at 8 p.m. at the Community Center. Tomorrow night, Bob Sweetan, the war to end all wars. You're teaming with Mr. Olympia in Texas Tornado rules against them big Samoans. First of all, I'd like to welcome all my fans in Bayou La Battery. See me down there tonight, I'll be there. Pensacola, Texas Tornado match. Gentlemen, you're big and you're tough and you're rough. But this time it's going to be a little bit different because all four of us are going to be in the ring. We're not going to have to worry about you making legal tags or illegal tags. We'll look at you and see you right there in the ring. And gentlemen, this time the outcome is going to be a whole lot different than it was the last time. And Kenny Wayne, you're going tonight to Bayou La Battery. Tomorrow night you have the rough, tough killer Gaddafi. And I know you're happy to be back in Pensacola. I'm real happy to be back in Pensacola. And, you know, I want to I make reference real quick to marvelous Marcel Pringle. You know, you're running around with my belt. You know, I understand that he's real melancholy now. He's got a head like a melon and a face like a collie. Well, let me tell you something. Killer Gaddafi, you come on down there, and I'll take care of you just like I'll take care of Pringle. I'll take care of Samoans. I'll take care of anybody that gets in the ring with me. Because, boys, let me tell you something. I've never backed down from anybody. And, you know, Gaddafi's running around with the crazy bunch, the wild bunch. But, boys, let me show you what a nightmare can do when it comes to getting crazy and to getting a little wild. I'll be in Bayou La Battery tonight getting wild. And tomorrow night in Pensacola, I'm going to be on you, Killer Gaddafi, behind you hot and heavy. We'll see you at ringside. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back here on World Organization Wrestling. What a great hour of wrestling we've had. And in the ring now, Killer Gaddafi with his rug that he insists on kneeling to Allah. But ladies and gentlemen, I also want to let you know about an event coming up. Well, we'll get Kenny Wayne in the ring first. I know that music. That's definitely Kenny Wayne's voice. And this place is gonna go wild. 
because they know that the nightmare is on his way. Here, listen to them fans, ladies and gentlemen. He's making his way to the arena area. The nightmare, Kenny Wayne, and what a match this is going to be. Now, Kenny Wayne is the true holder. He's a man without a belt, but he's the true holder of that TV title. He's definitely the WOW television champion. Whether he wears the belt or not, he is the champion. And what I alluded to earlier, ladies and gentlemen, make a note, all our great fans over in Mobile, Alabama, on October 18th, Sunday at 1 p.m., will the WOW wrestlers will be there in person playing an MDA softball game at the Sage Avenue Recreation Field in Mobile on the corner of Sage and Dauphin, and the, it's going to take place in Diamond C, and all the greats will be there. Adrian Street, Bob Sweetan, Kenny Wayne, Mr. Olympia. Stop out. It's for charity. October 18th, 1 p.m. MDA softball benefit featuring the WOW wrestlers. And now to the ring. Kenny Wayne and Killer Qaddafi lock up and go into the ropes. Referee hauling for Qaddafi to back off. The referee Qaddafi's claiming Kenny Wayne pulled hair which we obviously know he did not. Kenny Wayne, what a man who's rocking this area right now. Fans are coming out to cheer him on all over the area. Well, I'll tell you what, Kenny Wayne is a definite example. He's not a big man, he's not tall, but he is very, very knowledgeable of the art of wrestling. This man can wrestle. Of course, his opponent, he's in there to win. He may, whether he has his carpet close by or not, the carpet doesn't show him the way to wrestling. He has a wrestling ability also. Kenny Wayne gets, well, Qaddafi re re reverses it. This, again, going to be a great match, ladies and gentlemen. Got Kenny Wayne there. Kenny Wayne breaks it, reverses it on Qaddafi again. Another. And, ladies and gentlemen, Rip Tyler has just stepped to the podium, and I've been told he had an announcement to make. Chris, I just want to come up and, and enforce my authority a little bit. I want to tell the wrestling fans out there that We've given Marcel Pringle till next week on TV time to show up with a TV title and present it to Kenny Wayne. If he don't show up with it, we're going to suspend the man, and we're not going to suspend him for 10 days. We're going to suspend him for six months if he don't show up and present that TV title to Kenny Wayne next week on TV. You want marvelous Marcel Pringle to present it to Kenny Wayne on television? He will. He's going to bring the title here to where we can give it to the rightful champion, and that's Kenny Wayne. He don't have to present it to him, but I want him to turn that title over here to where we can give it to the man who deserves to be wearing it. That's Kenny Wayne. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. And if you're listening, Marcel Pringle. Next week on television right here, you must surrender that TV title. And you are, you will be suspended. Not for a day, a week, or a month, but for six months. And I'm not so sure marvelous Marcel Pringle can afford to go without wrestling for six months, but he must turn the TV title over to World Organization Wrestling Authorities so it can go to the rightful owner, Kenny Wayne, who's in the ring right now. The true TV title. So Marcel Pringle, if you're listening, next week on television, that belt has to be surrendered or you're gonna be paying a heavy price. What a nice drop kick by Kenny Wayne. Beautiful drop kick, beautiful. Kenny Wayne and Killer Qaddafi. Boy, these fans love that nightmare Kenny Wayne. And ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you for, for all the mail you're sending, and remember to keep them cards and letters coming. And to the fans in Mobile who've been wondering when we'll return there, we will be back in Mobile at Expo Hall in late October with a big card. So. Stay tuned to World Organization Wrestling and our fans up in Greenville, Mississippi. We're glad to be with you on WXVT Channel 15. World Organization Wrestling going all over the Southeast Eastern United States. Oh, beautiful drop kick by Nightmare Kenny Wayne. And Qaddafi goes down and Qaddafi's getting frustrated. I'll tell you what, Kenny Wayne can throw the most beautiful drop kick. I don't care if the man is five foot ten or if he's six foot eight. He can get up there and knock the man down. That's very well said, Gino. Kenny Wayne and Killer Qaddafi lock up. Go back into the corner. Killer Qaddafi breaking slow. He didn't break at all. Punches Wayne with the forearm. Ah, Wayne comes off with a kick. And a punch to the left side of the head. Well, and another one, and Qaddafi goes down. Wayne goes for the cover, too. 
This killer Gaddafi is a fabulous wrestler, and you're not going to beat him like that. No, he, he's going to put in his mind that if he's going to beat Kenny Wayne, he's going to have to wrestle him. He's going to have to settle down and wrestle and get hold, work on one part of a body, not being all over. And there you have a, another example. I know that Gaddafi's under the influence of that idiot, Don Fargo. Definitely. Kenny Wayne in the ring. Kenny Wayne, the current TV champion. I love that. I'm glad Mr. Tyler came out here and 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 uh, made that statement that that Pringle needs to turn over that belt. No way should he be wearing that belt around. And speaking of which, ladies and gentlemen, you can't see it on your screen yet, but I know for a fact if we can get a camera down there at ringside, yeah, there he is, Marcel Pringle, right out here at ringside trying to tantalate Kenny Wayne with that belt. That isn't his belt. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Marcel. Whoa, look at this. He's right there. Kenny Wayne slid out of the match, and he's going after Pringle in that belt. Kenny Wayne knows that belt belongs to him, and he's going after it. Pringle's backstepping real fast. Now, Pringle rolls into the ring, and Gaddafi's there to hit Wayne. And Pringle, there you have the man just comes out here to taunt Wayne, gets his mind off the match. Wayne, a big clothesline down on Gaddafi. Up with a big slam. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're running out of, of TV time. We have about 30 seconds remaining. Whoa, off the top rope. And we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to close it, ladies and gentlemen. Tune in next week. We're gonna have to go off the air at this match. A lot of exciting things happening here on World Organization Wrestling. See you next week.